It's Splinterlands Christmas time again, everybody. And we have four accounts, which means we get to open up a total of 48 chests today. So let's see what we're gonna get. Hello everyone out there. My name is Luke and this is my play to earn journey. Thank you guys for watching my Splinterland guides. And today we're just gonna have a little fun. As I said, it's what I like to deem Splinterlands Christmas. Every time a season ends, we get to open up our season reward loot chest. And because we're playing a total of four accounts, we get 48 chests. I didn't do the daily quest today, so we're not gonna get as many as we did last time, but 48, still pretty good and it should be some fun. Now, just for fun, let's look at the highest price card that we could potentially pull out today would be a gold foil of our legendary new season reward cards, a Oshanas and a Bilshka are both, you know, upwards of almost $500 and $600. So that would be the best card pull we can get. Obviously, though, that is, you know, with each chest, like a 0.0002% chance or something ridiculous like that. All right, just as we did last time, we're gonna keep track of what we get out of my 48 chests across all four accounts, see how many cards we get, how much DEC, potions, and then try to calculate based on current market value, what is the value today. Now, as you can see, I've done this twice in different videos, and one of my totals was $15.58. I didn't keep track of how many cards and all that that was. Mostly that was a beginning of the reward droppings. It was a gold a Pelican Bandit, I guess. And at that time it was like seven bucks. I think it just dropped on price a little bit, but that was a majority of my poll there. Last time, it was an embarrassing amount of $3.53 because it was so many potions and someone even deemed it, I think, a potion going out sale in the comments. All right, it looks like that comment was from Dominador. So shout out to you. Thank you for making my day. I thought that was a hilarious comment. Made me feel a little bit better about how bad my polls were last time. All right, let's roll out account number one and get this party started. It is claiming 12 chests here we go what i want hmm, what do i want what i would like santa is i haven't gotten any legendary reward cards from this season not in any or sorry i haven't gotten any legendary reward cards period both in my seasons and daily quests so why while a gold foil anything would be nice I would just like some legendary cards to actually be able to play in ranked battles, give me a little more power without having to rent them up. So maybe one legendary, uh, you know what? You know what? Let's just call it today. Let's just call it out three legendaries and two gold foil commons to make up for last season. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's start opening three dark energy crystals, one dark energy crystal. What a start to this. Another potion. Okay. I see. I see how this game is going to be treating me today. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, another heat smith. I'm never complaining about getting cards. Okay. Even if they're 15 cents right now, maybe one day they're worth a dollar, five dollars. Who knows? So cards to me. Great. Dark energy crystal. Oof. This is not going great. We got a Pelicor conjurer. Got plenty of those. Another potion. Another potion. This account is failing me. A de deceiver here. Another potion. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was just account one. That's just account one. We don't care. We don't care. Uh, account the other three accounts are gonna be way better unfortunately starting out a little bit like we did last time but taking the lowest price of each card right now adding up the DEC value we can see from that account we pulled a whopping 71 cents for those of you who are still rooting for me no worries we still got three accounts to go that was just one fourth of our chests. I'm still feeling Okay, I'm getting a little flashbacks from last time, not gonna lie. <laughs> a little feeling okay, but a little bit uneasy at the same time. 12 more chests, here we go. Give us something good. Bandit, at least a card right off the bat. Two cards, they're commons. Three cards, okay. By the way, it should be about a 50% card rate drop, 25% potion rate, and 25% DEC. If you're in silver, that is. Okay, a rare Basilic. I don't remember. I think that card's worth a dollar-ish something now. So at least we get a rare. More cards. I'll, I'll keep taking rares. Or sorry, I'll keep taking cards. Rares, especially commons, are good. 723 dark energy crystals. I'm actually pretty happy with that because that's what, like 10 bucks of DEC right now? Plus you're going to get more SPS airdrops from holding on that DEC if I want to. So 723, that's a good pull. More potions, more cards, more commons. 
another rare i think this one might be even two or three bucks right now so sweet okay this account looking a lot happier still no legendary still no gold foils but you know those are very small percentages so this account pretty happy with actually this is going to be maybe six or seven bucks if my brain math is right let's go test it out all right so we're looking at this column right here and my brain math was actually even lower than what i thought I forgot that DEC has pumped so hard that even 727 DEC right now is worth 11 bucks. That was actually a great pull for me. My eight cards turned out to be right now the lowest prices I could sell them for, $4.91. Most of that from Uraeus, or Uraeus uh, which is one of the epic cards right now going for three bucks. Twilight Basilic actually wasn't a dollar. It's only 60 cents right now. But again, we'll go up potentially in the future. Only two potions, which means this account, look at that. Look at the difference just between these two different account pools. 71 cents, $16 almost. So feeling a lot better about that one. Now on to account number three, feeling a lot better after that second one. Still no legendaries or gold foil, but hey, I'm not gonna complain about silver rewards being a $16 drop for one of my accounts. I'll take that for every account. I mean, if every account was 16 and I had four of them, that's, uh, you know, 60 bucks right there. But assets halfway there have to go let's start opening them again some common cards and potions to start off with nothing too crazy out of the ordinary so far three potions hate to see it three cards though four getting getting these commons i mean if we keep playing if we keep playing for you know a couple more months and keep doing our daily quests and season rewards i might personally have enough to max out one of these cards to 400 <laughs> At this rate, look at this. All right, nothing special in here. Uh, we'll still do a tally though. Let's go see what it's worth. All right, so for this account, we're looking at this row here. You can see 84 cents worth of my six common cards and the DEC value only 26 cents. And let's see, four potions as well for a dollar and 10 cents. So you can see how much your luck can vary around just even in this one video account compared to one account. These two accounts around a dollar, this one around $16. So yes, there's going to be lucky days. There's going to be unlucky days for you in this game. But hey, if you keep playing overall for a long period of time, those will start to average out somewhere in the middle. On to my last claim of the day. Still haven't found any gold foils. Still no legendaries. So maybe I'll have to lower my expectations. Let's just say one legendary card. I would love that. Any of them. <laughs> Please, maybe, we'll see, let's see, let's see. Lions start off the bat. Two lions and off the bat, what is this? Potion, dark energy crystal, a mercenary, 20 dark energy crystals, that's at least something. Three lions, what is this account? Okay, okay, another Chihuahua. Again, that's only an epic, but now I can delegate this to one of my alt accounts because this is a really powerful card, honestly, especially if you don't own my lore like I don't anymore. And so I'm happy with that. I, I forget how much it's worth, but maybe it's uh, upwards of three bucks right now. We'll have to go check here in a second. All right, no legendaries, but hey, I am happy, especially with this card. This one right now is one that I love to use in my dragon decks, so... Sweet, another one I will not have to rent across my four accounts. Wow, Chihuahua has run up to about $4.20, way up than it was a couple weeks ago. So other people are starting to realize the power of this card as well. All right, to finish up this vid, let's check out all four accounts across the numbers here. This account we just opened, we got seven cards because that one was a Chihuahua. We got $5.13 there. Only 30 DEC for another 46 cents. Only one potion in that account, so that feels pretty good. $5.58, so still a little bit less because of this huge DEC pull from this account. But you can see, again, the variation between all four accounts, vastly different. If you're only playing on one account right now and reaching silver, sometimes you're gonna have rewards that are like 71 cents, and sometimes you're gonna have rewards that can be upwards of $16. Or if you pull the Miracle Golden Legend of foil whatever that's going to be five hundred dollars so again this is just all luck this is just random but you can see actually across all four accounts this is pretty interesting to me at least you're supposed to have a 50 percent card drop rate on average 25 percent dec and 25 percent potions well if i opened up 48 chests 
Across four accounts, I got exactly 50%, 24 cards. Now, again, if you're only playing on one account, this account got three cards less than you're gonna get on average. The other ones just happened to get more. And then DEC, uh, I don't remember how many polls exactly, but it should equal pretty much 25% because potions was just under 25%, so DEC probably was like a you know 28% poll. Across all four accounts, so that is going to bring our total today to $23.35 based on current market value. Now that is actually my highest poll. Last time you can see it was abysmal, but also card values were down at that one. And uh, my first one in September 15th that I recorded was $15.58 at that time of value. So today, best poll so far. I'm still on the hunt. Maybe I'll get some in my daily quests or maybe we'll have to wait for the next season rewards in 15 days. I still want some legendary cards from this rewards, but I'm gonna have to continue to be patient. I'm gonna have to continue to be playing a bunch to get there. All right, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you had fun watching what I got. I will have fun, hopefully, if you comment below and tell me what you earned, and I would love to see what did you get. If anyone got some legendaries, hey, you can send them to my account. I'll take them for free. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. Keep them, use them, keep growing your accounts. I hope you guys are enjoying Splinterlands. I love it right now, my favorite NFT game, which is why I'm not covering other games right now. I'm just getting more and more invested in Splinterlands and it's been a lot of fun to me. So I hope you guys are enjoying it and not just thinking about the money side, not just you know thinking about how much money could I earn, but I hope in the midst of that, you're having a lot of fun as well, and I had fun today. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.